Today we're going to put on the ground oven, which means that we need to heat these rocks um, up to really hot and then we're going to put it into a deep pit, cover it in soil and we're going to leave it for a good four to five hours and it should cook beautifully. So in the Dutch oven I have, I don't know if you can see that, there is some carrots and some potatoes, tin of tomatoes, some stock and we're just about to add some venison and well, now the hot rocks are hot we're going to add those into the ground oven and cook that for about four hours. That's a long time. Yeah, possibly five, yeah. possibly three. So we're just putting the hot rocks in now. We've had a fire in the hole to dry out the hole and now the hot rocks go in as that one base layer and the Dutch oven sits on top. Okay, so in the Dutch oven today uh, is some vegetables and some carrots and some peppers and some nice venison. And I'm now just gonna put that on top of the hot rocks with the lid on. going in there and now we're going to cover that with hot rocks again and that's going to cover it with earth and we should be all good. So once we've got a layer of hot rocks we then add the, a dampened cloth this is so that actually nothing sets fire obviously and then we're going to add the earth over the top. Now it's easiest if you actually have your cloth um, outside of your hole when you put it in just so that you know actually where your hole is and it's easier to lift it up at the end of your fire. As you can see our soil here is very clay so actually it's going to be quite wet. Fingers crossed it's going to have long enough in the oven. I wonder if we nice might be wise it. to get some sand or something. During well, the summer it's not so bad though, is it? Because no. it dries out. Don't pack it too much around, we've got to get yeah. it out later. Like Done. <laughs> pretty good. No way it's getting even I think it's not. And there's smoke's coming out of it, so. Yeah. Good. Okay, so it's been about five hours and it's time to dig up the ground oven. You just must be really careful that you don't actually put your spade onto the top of your oven. You wouldn't want to da damage your Dutch oven. Well, what I don't know if you can see in the hole, it is actually steaming still. So fingers crossed it is quite warm. It is. is it warm in there, Erin? Yes, it's yeah. really, really warm. It's really hot, is it? Good. But it smells. Does it? Oh, hopefully it smells delicious. Well, I can't smell um, it. Shall I hold the rocks out? Could you go and put that somewhere? Right, now well, it's time to warm. put the hot rocks small, somewhere. Erin, in the small shovel. The small shovel. Thank you, Poppet. So the rocks, you have to be careful because the rocks will retain their heat still or should have retained their heat, so they could still be hot. Oh, I got 
that little lifter. Uh -huh. There. Lift, Daddy, lift. And there it is, out of the ground oven. But as I say, it's been in for about five hours and it should be baking hot. It looks damp. Do not let that fall in. There we go. Looks delicious. Smells absolutely amazing. It's definitely hot. Mind the dog. So there it is. That is a venison in the ground oven. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. And just look at that. It's amazing. So let's have a feel. Lovely. Lovely and tender. Smells fabulous. Fabulous. Good bit of dinner going on tonight. Venison stew. Venison stew tonight. Make sure the dog doesn't get it. Look at that. Now that is delicious, absolutely delicious.